Hey guys, this is MacHeads101 with a video on how to set up HTTP proxies on your Mac. So this will allow you to go to websites without them getting your IP address and it'll let you get past some blocks on your network that might be preventing you from going to certain websites. So the first thing you need to do when setting up a proxy on anything is to get the address for a proxy. So there are a couple sites with a good list for this but we're going to be using xroxy.com. So we just go right over here and you'll see that it has a list of proxy IP addresses and port numbers for proxies. Now basically we are only using a certain type of proxy that will let us view websites and do everything we need to do. So we're going to set up a couple things in the filter. First of all for the type of proxy we're going to set all HTTP. All right, And for the port number we're going to be using 8080. All right, So now we have a list that's actually all good proxies that we might want to use. So this uh, shows their IP address, the port number, and also the country that they're in. Now the country of a proxy is actually more important than it might seem to be because if a proxy is in a country like China or uh, somewhere where they filter the internet or the internet's generally slower than it is in a lot of other countries, uh, the proxy is not going to be very good quality. So we probably want to avoid using proxies in China or uh, some other countries uh, don't have great proxies either but China is going to be the main one to avoid. So I suggest using a proxy that's somewhere in Europe or America. Now France happens to be in Europe, so we're probably going to be using this one. So here's where the proxy IP address is, and here's the proxy port. So in order to actually use this IP address as an HTTP proxy on your Mac, you need to open up system preferences and do a couple of things. Under internet and wireless, we'll just go to network and then you want to select the one that you're currently using so uh, whichever one has a green dot next to it in my case it's Ethernet for a lot of you it'll be Wi-Fi or airport as it's called so we click on that then we go to advanced then under proxies we're gonna click on web proxy now I already have settings here that I entered before but if you just clear them out this is what it'll look like the first time you go to this screen so we will just copy and paste this IP address right into there and then type the port number which is 8080. Uh, now some proxies require that you have a password. None of the ones on proxy list or uh, on our on our proxy list will have a password but that's a good thing to know. So now we click OK and we click apply. Alright so now we are using an HTTP proxy. Uh, so in order to test this we can go to whatsmyip.org and right there it says this IP address. Now if we recall this IP address is actually the same thing as this IP address. So it does think that our IP address is the proxy that we're using. So right now we know that this site doesn't know our real IP address. But let's say we go to google.com. Uh, Google for instance should be pretty good at detecting if you're faking your IP. So we go here and what do you know it redirected us to google.fr because we're using a proxy that's in France. Uh, for a lot of you, it might redirect to some other country's proxy. Uh, it depends where your proxy is located on the planet. Um, but anyway, like this is completely, uh, it's as if I'm browsing through a French computer, so or a computer in France, rather. So I could go to YouTube.com. I'm not sure if there's like a YouTube.fr, something like that. I don't even know. Um, Anyway, this proxy in particular probably has a lot of traffic, a lot of people using it, so they're making me enter uh, the thing. Okay. Alright, so this proxy has a little dilemma, as we can see. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So if your proxy has a problem, or you can't get on a site that you need to, or something like that, you can go ahead in here and look for another one. Now it's hard to find a really good proxy now this France one happens to be pretty good other than the YouTube uh, dilemma that we just saw but you can go through page after page find a good pro IP address for the proxy and a good port um, so you can change that in system preferences if you just go to advanced and proxies but let's say you're done using a proxy you want to just use your internet like normal now you're done using the proxy all you have to do is go back into this proxy settings uncheck the box next to web proxy then click OK and hit apply. And now if I go to whatsmyip.org, you can see that that's my real IP, this is the proxy's IP, this is my real, you know, it's pretty obvious. So 
that is how to use an HTTP proxy on your Mac. Hope you guys learned something. If you did, uh, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to our channel. So thanks for watching MacHeads101. Subscribe and goodbye.